surprising news. It's finally got confirmed the other day or a couple of days ago that Notting Hill Carnival has been cancelled for a second year. Obviously, it was cancelled last year due to the, you know, the start of COVID basically happening when the... Uh, when the kind of sorry when the festival was meant to happen or the carnival was meant to happen and now it's been confirmed at the really at the 11th hour it feels like because it, it felt like there weren't really any updates and it felt like they were purposely trying to wait as long as they could to ensure to see if they could kind of squeeze it in and you know but it just didn't work out in the end and i kind of saw the you know the wood before the trees when Pride got cancelled in Bright in Brighton, yeah, Brighton, I think that was a good indicator that you know Carnival wasn't going to happen, especially when you consider the scale of what Brighton Pride is and the amount of people that come in from overseas. I think it just wasn't going to be logical or sensible for them to do it. Um, it's disappointing again because I'm a big believer, especially if it's outdoors. I don't see the need why it can't occur, especially when people are going nowadays. With the euros people are standing outside of flipping you know um standing in the street in soho and stuff and you know watching games through flipping bar windows and just getting larry and stuff and going really mental it's the same population density of people out there but i guess if you're if you're the government you're mostly concerned about people from overseas coming in and then messing up the numbers but i don't know man i'm just i'm just a bit skeptical about the whole cancellation of these sort of things it just makes me kind of more convinced that it's more so like a Tory government thing them just being you know unwilling to reach any kind of compromise or bend or meet in the middle ground with anybody associated with parties or dance music in any way shape or form it seems like they have they've kind of declared like a silent war against it and it felt like Covid was a perfect excuse to kind of get a few people out of here and it? it feels like for that government but anyway what do I know it goes here no no carnival has been cancelled for second year running it says 2020 marked the first time there was no 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 carnival since the street party began in 1966 i don't even know it was that long jesus with the event being held online um da, 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 according to the organizers plans for the 2021 edition would not be on the streets but other events would that allow people to safely celebrate everything are being organized so what maybe it's not going to be what weird and maybe they're going to do some sort of like because if the july thing goes forward then they could do some sort of um kind of a thing in clubs i guess where you kind of hop in and hop out of different places and they have people different sound systems taking over certain clubs and all that i'm lucky i can imagine that happening he says this has been an extremely difficult decision to make everyone involved in the event desperately wants to return to the road where carnival belongs but safety has come to first and the last cautious sorry the least cautious so the latest cautious announcements on the government's roadmap this is the only way to ensure that but imagine how insane that is right so most likely carnival on the road is cancelled cool but more likely than not, there's going to be <laughs> lols, Calvin Klein, new LGBTQ campaign. Jesus Christ, man. Um, I hope this doesn't happen to Juneteenth. I hope Juneteenth doesn't go the way of, you know, um, flipping gay pride has, man, because they have turned that into a money making machine. It might as well just be Black Friday, innit? They stripped away any kind of relevance or importance that that might have had to that particular community of people and just turned it into a money making or kind of political just kind of po political sort of like theater right play acting where everyone kind of changes their profile picture to something incorporating rainbows so they can pretend that they're woke it's like ugh, horrible Anyway, continues yes and in the making decision we have this considered our responsibilities to de deliver a safe spectacular successful and sustainable carnival the conclusion is that with so many uncertainties with time short for carnivals leasters to prepare and the risk of the eventual cancellation a real possibility we must refocus for 2021 oh sorry for 2021 uh, for probably next year i think so the interesting thing i was going to make point here was that more more likely than not the the street ones is not going to go on obviously we know that now but they're probably going to do stuff in clubs right they're probably going to do something i'd imagine especially with them clubs opening in allegedly the 19th of july there's going to be enough time in order for to them to get something together if that's the case then doesn't that seem a bit ridiculous that you can't do a carnival outdoors where you know the risk of catching covid is far less than indoors and most clubs for the most part I'd imagine especially in london the ventilation systems are basically non-existent which is what made the whole kind of compromising or kind of working or working around the lockdown impossible because most of these places have been built you know many many moons ago or they just haven't invested in any kind of ventilation system because you just don't need to you just you know the the ability to sweat your balls off in a club it kind of adds to the charm so there's no need to kind of improve that 
and now we're in a position where they're going to host them in clubs where trans you again transmissions is at its highest. It's like this stuff is all so nonsensical. It continues here, it says in the making decision we have considered all okay, I read already earlier this year, it was warned that the social distancing measures would make the event difficult, while organizer Matthew Phillips saying it would be very difficult to hold the carnival in the traditional format on the streets, which was distancing in place. It'll be devastating for a second year in a row. And here's obviously the official statement. The official date is twenty nine of August the thirtieth of August. Like I said, there's enough time for them to put something together in clubs and kind of make up um for it but again if carnival is on the streets it's not really carnival really so it kind of takes away from it you can you can you, you can go to a bashment night or a reggae night or a soaker night any other week you know in london especially what makes carnival carnival is the fact that you get to do it outdoors you know drinking eating hanging out with friends and stuff having a bit of a boogie with some strangers that kind of all adds to it so without that it kind of makes it a bit pointless really but you know here we are here we are. No one's, again, no pushback. No one's really fighting against it because there's nothing you can really do to fight against it. And we just truck on and hope for a better 2022.